Li Shunggen. You probably remember seeing this, right? But nobody back then in the West knew who this guy was. Now we know. Li Shunggen, ooh, doing a little haisera, as we call it, in jiu-jitsu. Not jiu-jitsu, capoeira. So, um, that's a front sweep in kung fu. So, oh, another one. Good thing it's kickboxing rules, man. He might have paid for that if this were MMA rules. So, he's still pretending to be drunk. Look at that. Even when the ref's talking to him. This is hilarious. Look at this. Oh. It does help your evasion, right? But you just have to not be too off balance that you accidentally get caught. Then it becomes a Chris Weidman versus Anderson Silva. So, it's very unpredictable. When Rob and I first looked at this, whoa, that sidekick. This guy's done some JKD before. Oh, look at that. He's pretending he's still drunk. Oh, not bad, right? Not bad. Not bad. Li Shunggen. Li Shunggen. So, this guy is still... A little bit dazed. Dazed as in the guy who got sidekicked. The MMA guy. Li Shunggen. Let me see if this is the end. It might be the end. Li Shunggen. I don't think so. I think they're going to keep going. Yeah, they're going to keep going. They're going to keep going. So, well, I guess he was given the standing count and he passed it. So... Our Kung Fu hobbyist, guys. He never claims to be a master. That was a great spin kick. He almost paid for it. He almost paid for it. If our MMA guy was more, were more accurate. Oh, like that. You see what I mean? That's perfect. Now, he's basically passing off getting knocked down is oh yeah it's just another drunken move it's kind of cool it's kind of cool what he's doing so i don't think anyone's seen this full like this is the full version nobody's seen this before because nobody knew who he was until i found out who he was li shunggen so it looks like he caught him in the same area and now he's He's the one that's almost like a ton. It's like, look, I'm the one that's supposed to be drunk and falling. Look at him. <laughs> Doing a little piriformis stretch. Dude, this is awesome. I don't have information on the opponent. I don't know who the guy in blue is. But the Kung Fu hobbyists. Notice the best people are hobbyists. They don't call themselves masters. That was really cool. Almost like a drunken rolling thunder. But guys, like I said before... The kickboxing rule saved him, man. This sort of slightly clowning around type of unpredictability. The problem is if this were a street fight or MMA fight, there's no ref in there to kind of stop it every time you kind of fall, right? So, not to take away, man. This is really cool. We're going to see a match later where this Kung Fu hobbyist actually does JKD. He's dressed in Bruce Lee jumpsuit and he does JKD. Look at that. Oof. See, the um, MMA guy's starting to figure out. Don't play into his antics. Just pressure him, right? But the looseness of this guy's drunken style makes it so he doesn't panic as much. That's what I noticed. So when he gets pressured, he's not panicking as much. See? See? He is throwing too many haymakers, though. His strikes are a little bit telegraphed, which helps him a little bit that he's playing off this drunkenness. So sometimes you can't read his telegraph, even though he is pretty telegraphed. Look at him. He's like, <laughs> Rev's like, are you pretending to be drunk? Are you okay? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, guys, you guys have never seen this full version, man. Only on fight commentary breakdowns because I do the deep research that nobody else can do. That was it, guys. That was it. So this is him practicing some of his drunken boxing. You see that? 
So, unlike a lot of Kung Fu Masters, he's actually able to bring some of this into the ring. This is really cool. So, let me show you guys another example of him using the drunken style in the ring. So, here's another example of him using the drunken style in the ring. Look at that. Again, he's using this kind of looseness of a drunk person to evade better, right? He does get himself a little off balance sometimes, but... <laughs> a jumping double sidekick! <laughs> well, if this were the street, he would have paid for that, man. Oh, his opponent's like, you want to do something fancy? I'll do something fancy, too. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that! A bunch of spinning back fists. <laughs> Again, this guy's name Li Shungen. Li Shungen. Oh my god. So, notice. In his kind of drunken style, his hands are low too, man. It's not just kind of he's elusive and unpredictable. His hands are low, man. Oh. I guess, you know, if you're in a kickboxing match and they penalize you for knockdowns, you can basically keep falling and being like, it's part of my act, right? So you don't get the opponent the score to knock down. I just realized that. So, dude, if I were his opponent, I'd be, just don't play into this game. Ooh, a little bit of like a one hand mea lua chi compasso. I don't know what you call it in Kung Fu. Dude, if, yeah, don't do that. Just pressure him. Get into clinch rain and just batter him. Oh yeah, you can't, maybe you can't clinch in this. I don't know. Or get into boxing range, man. Get into boxing range and just punch him. Right? Small, non-telegraph punches and just pressure him, especially put him into the pocket. So this was the second round of that same match with the, I think it's an MMA fighter, retired special forces, which again, special forces in the Chinese army is very different, right? Because they haven't fought a war in a very long time. So it's different than like a special forces American fighter. Just not, I'm just saying that to not take away from our Kung Fu hobbyist. So MMA guy does a roundhouse kick to a spinning kick. So it's pretty cool. I wonder if he's done any capoeira or, or he kind of stumbled on this kind of hand on the ground type of spin kick, the drunken guy. Yeah, um, ha, a little spinning <laughs> side, no, sorry, uh, sweep kick, spinning a sweep kick. Look at that. So, limited applications, man. I mean, if you're fighting on the mud or fighting on the grass, maybe, but like this type of stuff. You might hurt yourself more if this were on the street, right? Just keep that in mind. I'm not trying to take away from him, but you got to know he's applying this because there's a little bit of a you know, soft surface, right? It's not a surface that you'll get too hurt in if you kind of fall in a controlled way. Oh, he's really going for it. He's really going for it. Look at this. Oh, he baited with his hand and he came back. That was great. Not his hand, sorry, his head. That was awesome. He he's understanding how to bait. Like he literally stuck his chin out, be like, come. See that? See that? He's doing that. Now this MMA guy keeps not striking at the opponent too. Oh. Yeah, um. MMA guy needs to strike at the opponent. Look at that. he's turned his back, man. Dude, what are you doing, MMA guy? You could have attacked him. Yeah, so that was the end of this round. So this is a match. He's dressed in a Bruce Lee jumpsuit. And he's going to show off the JKD that he's been learning. Again, this guy, 
from my understanding, he's never claimed to be a master. He's just a hobbyist. And I think that's why he does well. That low signature. Oh, look at that. That's the kick that DKU tries to pretend he knows. But this guy's actually pulling it off. Basically, you know how DKU describes himself as the modern day Bruce Lee? This guy's actually looking more like the modern day Bruce Lee. Look at that, man. A little scissor sweep. Very reminiscent of what Kung Lee used to do. Again, guys, he just claims to be a kung fu hobbyist, and that's why he trains, right? You're a hobbyist. You don't put yourself on a pedestal. You train hard. Again, his opponent, I don't know what level, how many years of MMA training he has, but still, I'm giving this guy credit because he doesn't call himself a master. Li Shun He doesn't call himself a master. He's just a dude who loves Chinese kung fu and its offshoots like JKD, and he wants to test it out. That's why I'm featuring this guy. So, what happened there? That was the end of the first round, maybe? He already has a number one sign on his chest. Look at that. Actually, guys, I just realized this might be it. Yeah, this is it. I feel like we should do one more. So, this is Li Shun trying some monkey kung fu. Again, he has gloves on, right? So certain grabbing techniques for monkey he can't do, but he's going to do his best. You could say, oh, <laughs> nice. A good shifting of levels. Um, not so sure about that. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Okay, try a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We definitely have to watch that one again. That was pretty funny. So I'm going to slow this one down. You see, he's doing some of the monkey scratch head techniques, which actually are kind of like blocks, right? So if you interpret it right, so he's trying to swipe at the leg. Um, you know, trying to get at the head, right? Monkeys like to kind of smack in the head. So he's doing that. And... Notice his head off center line. So he's understanding certain things that a lot of people who haven't sparred don't understand, right? His head is not on center line. So, and you could argue some of these ground techniques make him very vulnerable. But again, you see, he even puts his legs up and he almost tries to sweep, right? This kind of rolling, eh, and see, he eats some strikes, right? But still, very very cool ideas and how to apply monkey kung fu so very briefly just to let you guys know about chinese social media a lot of times when you search on google and you search on equivalent search engines like a cozy or DuckDuckGo, you're not even able to search chinese websites it's the weirdest thing so to find matches from this master did i just say master i'm sorry he never claims he's a master this hobbyist I had to use Baidu. Baidu was supposed to be China's version of Google, but of course it's not, right? Because they have to filter their search engine a lot. But that's kind of why it's so hard to find these things. You can't just find the fighter. You also have to really look deep because the search engines in China are bad and you can't rely on American or Western search engines because they don't even penetrate a lot of the websites in China. So it's really annoying. But this is the best I can do. I kind of want to eventually try to find that full match where he dressed like Bruce Lee. Because that was a full fight. And we only found a very small highlight. So hopefully if I do that, I'll either put the full fight on the dojo. Or maybe if enough people want it, I will put it here. So that's about it. Thank you guys so much. And we will talk soon. Please join and be a channel member. It's really encouraging to see people. YouTube doesn't seem to be the biggest fan of this channel anymore. So I need you guys to show some love and we'll keep doing these deep dives. All right, thank you guys.